everybody and welcome back to another video. First things first, please drop down, tap the like button, subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notified about future video. Today, we're bringing these girls home from Thornton. So the plan is pretty simple really. We've got to get these cows from this field into this pen and then we've got some hurdles set up there. We'll bring the big cattle trailer and the little cattle trailer and we'll back up, load them up. I think we're going to have to do about three trips to get them all in. Um, but yeah, first job, we've got to get them in and get them into this pen. They are not happy, they're ready to come home. They're getting short grass. So let's go and give it a go. So I'm now just going to go across this field with the buggy to round up any cattle that are down the other side of the hill. We'll get them up close to the pen. Dad's here with the Land Rover and we're gonna usher them all into the pen. Hopefully it'll all go to plan because cows, they'll be fine, but the calves, they've never been in before. So it's a bit of a new one for those guys. This group are not playing ball. All the others have gone up into the pen in that top corner because we've put some silage in there, but these guys are being absolute knobs. We're getting there now though. They're getting there. They've got, they've got the gist. I think we've spotted the others. We tried to get them up close to the hedge if we can and then have one at the side and one behind, but these guys have just taken a lot of driving today. So we've got them in. Uh, we've locked all the gates so that no trespassers can go and let them out, which would be an absolute nightmare. We're going to go to the other group of cows, check them and then go out the back way and then we'll go back, get some, our breakfast and um, load, load up with the cattle trailers and come back and start moving. I think we'll have to do three trips uh, with so cattle trailers to get them all home and uh, yeah, we'll split them off, we'll wean the young stock and put the cows in another shed for a couple of days. We're going to wean the young stock at home and then we're going to run all the cows together and then bring the calves in for the winter. So we're now back in the yard. We'll go put this tractor onto the big cattle trailer which is in the shed that's around the corner there. Let's go and do it. So I have to hook up these hydraulic pipes to the backboard, obviously the lights and the brakes. But the big job is I now have to pull it out and back it round that corner there. Um, and it's a 26 foot long cattle trailer. It takes a little bit of doing. Um, but the body's 26 foot long. I suppose it's 30 odd foot by the time you've got the drawbar on there. Here's the boss. And there she is. Backed through. I've had this cattle trailer since I was in primary school. So it's, it's done us really well. It's probably 20 odd years old. Dad had it custom made. It's uh, absolute beast but it's brilliant for bringing the cattle back because that ground at Thornton's about about five miles away as the crow flies but it's about eight miles around the road so indispensable bit of kit. That. The other thing we've done before bringing the cows back is we've bedded the cattle yard down and we've fed up the gangway behind last night so that they've got silage in that and they're ready so what we're going to do is we'll bring the cows in unload them at the top of the gangway and sort them out there and we'll put the calves one way and the cows the other so we'll fill this with cows Calves will go around into the two shed down there um, into, so they can have a different ration. And then we'll have these cows in here for two or three days until we've sorted out the other ones that are down the meadows. And then we'll put all the cows together and we're gonna bring all the young stock in because really the young stock will be fed a ration that's designed to make them grow. Whereas the cows, we're only really interested in maintaining their size at the minute. So they can go back out to grass. And then in theory, we should have half as many mouths out of grass and all the young stock should be in so we can have the cows out they're pretty easy not going to do a lot with them all the calves can come in we can start and feed them we're now at thornton we're going up the driveway to the thornton ground a bit further up i've got to take a left hand turn and turn around and then back the trailer down because we have to load up on this track we can't get the trailer into the field so uh like i say we're back down drop the backboard we've bought some new cattle hurdles which you'll, you'll see in a minute um, because we used to use some old gates and it wasn't really very safe at all. But we bought these new cattle hurdles from Bateman, um, from Catley Engineering, just up the road at Peckleton, and they're brilliant. They've been so good. And we just, you know, back up to them, make a little pen, run out what we need, and run them into the trailer. But you'll see all that. Now, as you can see, we've got the hurdles here. Drop the backboard down, pull these hurdles around, tie them up to the gates, and then there's three pens in there. Um, there's two eight foot pens and a 10 foot pen on the back. And we'll load up some cows and calves into each pen and uh, hopefully we'll only be left with a couple for later on this afternoon.
Go on. And we're loaded up, which is good. Uh, just got to do the little Ivor Williams trailer now behind the Land Rover with the last few. And actually, I think we're going to get it all on two loads. I thought we we're going to have to come back for another load, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to be all right, which is good. It saves us a bit of time. Good news is that we've got them all on two loads. So Dad's got his on the Ivor Williams. I've got the big trailer. And uh, we can go home for some lunch. What do you think about that, B? She's excited. You just can't tell. Now back at the farm, just coming down the drive. There's a little green door just there. We're going to open that door, back up to it with the trailer, and drop the cows off. We'll filter the calves off one way and the cows the other way. And they'll be then separated, and that's job done. Cows go in one yard, the calves will end up in that yard there. And yeah. That's the dark job done. We can just go back and get all the hurdles and everything and get cleared up then. Keep coming. Straight up. Whoa. So the cows have gone that way. The calves are currently in there. The cows are going to be put. You can see just there. Into the backyard. These guys are going down to the bottom. Right, so we've moved these guys down into the shed here. These guys will stay in here for the foreseeable future. They've got themselves some herbal lay silage there. They're pretty settled. They've been in for about 18 hours now. Um, they're making a little bit of a racket at times because you've separated them from their mothers. But like most mothers, they're glad. The mothers are actually really glad to get rid of their sort of teenage kids. So uh, they're happy as Larry. And uh, yeah, these guys just make a little bit of a racket. I've got to go and clean the big trailer out, which I'll show you the inside of it because you didn't get to see the inside of the trailer. But like I said earlier in the video, we've got another mob of cows and calves to get in from down the meadows. We'll put all the cows together then, send them back out to grass and all the calves will come in. We're going to then put these onto a growing ration, which is a high protein ration to grow a frame, um, get the cow bigger. And then when they get to about 450 to 480 kilos, we'll put them on the finishing ration, which is what the heifers have had in the other video, if you've seen that. So yeah, these have settled in well, and I've just got to clean out my trailer. So as promised, we're now inside the trailer. As you can see, we've forked the uh, straw and shoveled all the muck out of the bottom of the trailer. There's three compartments here. There's one on the back there, which is 10 foot. There's this one, which is eight foot, and this one, which is eight foot. We have these doors and dad made it so that these doors um, you can get behind them so if you're in here and as the cow turns on you or whatever you can get in there and you're safe and they latch back on the wall and everything and they just lock in onto this side so you get a group of cows in here lock them in run the next group in run the next group in shut the uh, backboard shut the doors and job. it's now my job to clean all this out after every use we just come in here, shovel it out, whatever, like I say, and pressure wash it all down, get it all super clean, ready for next time, never leave it with muck in. Um, and that's why it's in as good nick as it is. Like I said, it's 20 years old, but it's still in, uh, in really good condition. A bit of a luxury to have a trailer like this, to be fair, to uh, move your cattle around in. But I'll give this a good clean, and then we'll put it in the shed. The gateway's really narrow. It's only a 10 foot gateway. This is about eight foot wide. You can't see very well with the tractor and you have to back it in on the angle, but I'll put it away uh, when we're done and yeah, be ready for next time. Right guys, and that's it for another video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Have a good one.